The One Piece is real and I mean the One Piece is live action and it is really good and I say that as I have just finished watching all the episodes and I can confidently tell you that the live action 100% captures the heart and soul of the amazing manga written by Oda Sensei. So tune into this video with me as I review One Piece the live action series by Netflix and by the end of the video you will know if you should watch the series or not. As an anime fan in general, we have not had the best of experiences with anime live action adaptations. But if the trailers of the show were anything to go by, we still had a ray of hope and our hopes and desires have definitely come bearing fruit with this specific live action adaptation of One Piece. Now. Just because I'm appreciating the series for being not just a decent live action adaptation of the source material but a actually good one, that does not mean that I didn't hold it up to high standards or high expectations as a One Piece fan because I did. I had my fair share of expectations with regards to the fight scenes, the character designs, the world building, especially the core emotional and iconic moments from the One Piece manga. But at the same time, I did not have unrealistic expectations of the show for touching me the same way that the anime or the manga did because for you to actually be able to enjoy the live action version of the series, you need to understand one thing for sure. The animated medium will always look, sound and feel much better because that's how Impressive that medium is for something that is so imaginative as One Piece or the world of One Piece. So with that thought in mind, I believe that although not perfect, Netflix has done a pretty good job at giving us a true feel of how the One Piece world would look, feel and practically function in a real world environment and with real world elements and actors who actually look human and not cartoonish while retaining its fantastical elements as much as it can. Casting and characters. The majority of the cast has been known to us for the best part of 3 or 4 months and I with complete conviction can tell you most of the cast does justice to their characters with what they have been provided to perform. Yes. These characters are not exactly the copy and paste versions of the characters that we love from the anime or the manga but the core values of most characters have been humanized so you still feel connected to the roots of the character and where the character actually comes from while experiencing a totally new version of it. I would like to confirm one thing that Inaki is Luffy. Inaki is Luffy and is the perfect casting, the best casting of the show hands down. He is Luffy, a different version of Luffy but he looks and feels like Luffy and even talks like him. Other standout performers for me and let me remind you I mean standouts because nearly all of them were so good were the Mihawk, Buggy and Shanks actors. I had my reservations with the Shanks actor but he really won me over in the end and the Mihawk actor to me even sounds too much like Mihawk and if you ask me to be honest the Zoro and the Kobe actors were also pretty on point too. Overall the cast suits their characters bar a few exceptions for me which were the Nezuko actor and the Beckman actor who for me did not feel like Ben Beckman. He did not give me the gravitas of Ben Beckman but then again we're quite early in the series and I myself in my first chapter of One Piece did not know who Ben Beckman is and how he is supposed to feel. So that's true too. So these points are completely subjective. So. As we all know, the story has been majorly changed though keeping in the main iconic and core moments of the manga the same. I think the screenwriters in general have done a decent job adapting the story for a live action version. Some examples of what has been changed include Luffy meeting Nami and Zoro at near about the same time, Arlong arriving at Barate or how Straw Hats arrive at Coco Village. You know, it's, it's totally different to how it actually happens in the anime and manga but it does not change much or affect much. Whereas for me, what was brilliantly adapted were moments like the scene where Shank sacrifices his arm, the iconic kick destroying Arlong Park in the final battle, Sanji and Zeph's moments where they were shipwrecked. I mean, these were some pretty amazingly adapted moments for me and they felt like 
too on point. They felt too accurate. They felt just so good. Though, it does well. The series still had a lot of points for me where it, I just struggled adapting moments from the manga or anime. Like, the final battle against most antagonists lacked the intensity and in action. Apart from a few scenes, the series also lacked some key emotional depth and, you know, emotional tension in the major emotional scenes like where Zoro promises not to lose again or even the Nami asking for help scene with the Straw Hats walk to the Arlong Park was also a letdown. Then there were some missed opportunities for me in the show because the show chose to not adapt a lot of things and these missed opportunities included the story of the dog from Orange Town which is very emotional and we all remember it or the scene where Shanks tells the bandits that if they point guns they have to put their lives on the line and Lucky Roo shoots the bandits so these moments which could have added to the tension or which could have added to the emotional depth and emotional weight of scenes and even enhanced the already given quality were definitely missed by me as a One Piece fan. But again, I know that because I've been watching One Piece. For someone who just walks in into Brindley, I don't think they'll notice much. Overall, I still think that the story was adapted in a decent way, but I do believe there is major room for improvement, and I believe, I wish they do so in the second season. I might have to say that I have zero complaints with the visual effects and the world building because Oh my god, all the towns and the sets look magnificent. The special effects on Luffy, Buggy, Kuro all looked fabulous. I have zero complaints, no complaints at all, it was perfect. Although when it comes to the atmosphere, especially when it comes to the background music in certain scenes, I believe it did contribute to the lack of tension and emotional depth with regards to certain scenes for me. Because I believe that emotional scenes require great musical scores and that was missing because like the Nami stabbing herself scene or Zoro making the promise scene, like I mentioned these scenes again, uh, they could have been enhanced or you know taken to the next. They had better atmospheric or background musics attached to them with them and it could have definitely enhanced the series with its core emotional and action or intense showdown moments. Now, I wanted to say one thing, if you've already come this far in the video and you're still watching, I would like to suggest that you subscribe because, I mean, if you're watching up till now, I think you really enjoy the content, so why not subscribe and cause more similar content will be coming on the way. Yes, this is my first One Piece video, but there is more coming up and you will definitely enjoy it till then. Just tune into the channel. Thanks, peace. Let's continue with the video. Will the show appeal to new viewers? Did the show appeal to existing One Piece fans? I think for the fans who have consumed the anime and the manga, it will be a good or decent watching experience. But for the fresh viewer who will experience this world for the first time with no clue as to what the show is, that is what the show caters to the best and definitely has the potential to attract a totally new audience to what is the larger One Piece community. And if the show is able to do that, it has succeeded because that is what adaptations are actually about. You know, it is the same. That that's the case. You know, not all of us have read the Harry Potter books, but most of us have watched the movies. And that's how it works. That is how adaptations works. And I think it will do that just fine. Because if I think about it from the point of view where I have not already watched or seen One Piece, and this is the first time I see One Piece, I think I love it. I really like the show. With the visual effects, world building, and the cast being the highlights of the show for me, whereas the show definitely lacks on the emotional depth, tension, intensity, and even some breathing space for the action scenes or the key emotional moments. But one thing is certain, this series adaptation shines with the original source material because the show indeed captures the spirit and heart of One Piece, which is the importance of one's dreams, which especially is thanks to Luffy and Inaki as Luffy because he does a great job you know, stating the importance of dreams and capturing the spirit of One Piece and being a fabulous main character. And I will still again say, it's a good show. It could have been better, but everything can be better because nothing is perfect. So it's a good show. You should definitely watch it and try it. 
I will give the show a 7.5 on 10 overall while still recommending it to everyone as the show definitely deserves a second season because it does well in what it has set out to do to set up a new one piece world for people to explore to set up the very characters that we love and cherish in a totally new environment and actually ends up being a good no not just a good but a great anime adaptation with regards to the disasters that we've had in the past and that's all from me dragon guide i really enjoyed the show and i really hope you give it a go too and till then peace dragon guide i'll see you in the next video